Hi there. Today we're going to talk about Turbo V and Turbo Key. Turbo V is a uh, a tool that allows you to overclock it without exiting uh, rebooting the uh, OS, and it's a user friendly interface that makes overclock with just few clicks away. Turbo Key allows the user to turn the PC buttons into overclock clocking buttons. After the easy setup, Turbo Key can boost performance without interrupting ongoing work or games just one touch. Okay, now let's begin to talk about this one uh, live on the Windows. First of all, you have to install two utilities on the support CDs. One is called AI Sweep and another called Turbo V. After we installed it, I have already installed on this window and uh, after you installed it, you should be able to see that little red uh, V-shaped things on your taskbar. That's Turbo V. Then you, you can open that up. Okay, now the software is open. So there are three profiles are presetted in the profile place by Turbo V's, Jet Plane, Race Car, and Rocket. So these three profiles has already preset the vo volume. And for Jet Plane, for example here, we have CPU frequency 200 and CPU voltage is 1.5 and DRAM voltage is 2.4 and so on. So we can also adjust the CPU frequency, the fun, the, the fun side bus to uh, a little bit higher. I just set it to 202 um, and applied it. So we can now check the uh, assistant CPU frequency, the fun side bus speed. So the f bus speed right now is 202, you know, the speed that I just adjusted to. So the little bit higher, 203, hit apply. So the bus speed now is 203. Just turn it to 203. So this shows you that you can overclock the, the bus speed, the CPU frequency inside of the Turbo V's little by little and without interruption. You don't have to restart the windows, you don't have to quit the games, you just have to turn on this software and do the overclocking. Very easy and simple. Now we uh, can open up the Q button where it contains the turbo key. We talk, we're going to talk about the turbo keys too. So the turbo key is uh, a feature you can turn it the power button into an overclocking button. So right now, the power button action is AI nap. So if I press the power button right now, it goes to sleep because it's set it to AI nap. You can also set it to power or turbo key. In this case, I will pick one of those profiles for my turbo key setup. So let me pick one. I can pick one of them, jet plane or rocket. So let's pick a uh, rocket for higher, um, you know, speed. Apply, and that's done. So let's, um, you know, hit the power button for rocket speed. See if it works. I just pressed it. Oh, there's a logo, and just press it again. There's a logo, again to turn it off. Now it's turned on again. So the button works. Let me uh, check the speed. See if it's 210. Oh, so the bus speed now has turned it to 210 with the rocket speed. If I turn off, should be 203. Yes. So it's 203. Turn on again. Should be 210. Okay, 210. Okay, this is how easy it is for overclocking. 